Thanks for coming out. Enjoying yourself. It's good. My life's changing, you see. All my friends are getting older. That's my news. <laughs> now, they're all getting older, man. I don't recognise my friends anymore. I have got friends in my life, people I've known for years, people that I trust that now do stuff before work. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Before work. Like, after sleep, before work. <laughs> after sleep, before work. How is anyone fitting anything into that five-minute window? Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> people that go to the gym. The gym before work. You don't go to the gym before work. You wake up, you've slept in, you cry. You go to work. <laughs> go into the gym. And because it's social media, they can broadcast this to the world now. Everyone needs an audience, and I've got my Insta stories, and I'm going to the gym before work. <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm off to the gym before work. <laughs> They've got the time on this screen because they're fucking pricks now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the time. Oh, my God, guys, I had such a mad Sunday. I just had to put all my meals for the week in Tupperware. And you're like, ah, fucking kill yourself. <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> I used to work in an office, if you can picture that. It was a long three weeks for everyone concerned. <laughs> but I did, you'd spot the before work people. You could sense their energy, making your hangover worse. <laughs> you couldn't miss them. They'd have Lycra on, fold out bike. Always had a form. They wanted sponsored for everything. I'm doing a marathon, I'm going over there. Can I get sponsored to go over there? Hi, Ian, I'm doing a skydive for impoverished African children. No, you're doing a skydive and you want me to pay for it. That's what's fucking happening here. 